Uh, today's video is going to be very, very different from what I normally do. I just picked up a uh, a pole saw from Ryobi. Uh, this is their, um, it's a battery powered one. It's uh, 18 volt lithium ion batteries, just like all my Ryobi crap. I could say I'm sort of a Ryobi fanboy. But you know, uh, for the price and for quality, you know, for the average, uh, you know, person who likes to be a little handy, I uh, think their stuff is great. But, you know, like I said, I just picked up this pole saw. It's got an eight inch uh, bar. And again, it runs on the 18 volt uh, lithium ion. It has an extension that I have hanging up right over here that will fit in between uh, this piece and this piece and it will extend it out to nine and a half feet okay your bar and chain oil goes right here and i've already filled it up now one thing i have uh, 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 that i noticed is this thing will cross thread really easy so you have to be careful of that all right since we're on the subject of this thing let me just show you real quick how this goes together So the, this unscrews just like that. Ah, it takes a little bit of force to pull it apart, but if you notice, it's got this old notch right here, and the widest of all these notches, that's what lines up with that notch. And just make sure it seats all the way and just screw it back on. If you wanted to add the extension, you just do the same thing. Extension goes here, uh, tighten it up, and then the blade portion will go on the top of the extender, and then just repeat, same thing. But you have to make sure that that notch is in the largest of the four, um, you know, little slots there. Okay. So that's about it. I mean, I can't really say too much about it. I mean, it's a pole saw. It's a chainsaw on a stick, basically. Um, you have to squeeze this first up here. It's like a little safety thing. Squeeze that. And it just activates the blade. Now this thing is sort of heavy, you know, just because it's so long. So it comes with a, sh a sh uh, shoulder strap. So I'm gonna put the shoulder strap on. That way, you know, the weight of the thing can kind of sit on your, your shoulder. And then, you know, you have a little bit more, you know, stability. If you, especially if you have the extender on, if you're trying to cut something really, really high, you know. Okay. You know, but again, I'm not going to go into the specs and everything because it's basically, like I said, it's a chainsaw on a stick. Um, so yeah, let's go cut something. Let's go see how. So just for fun. I brought the extender with me uh, because I am going to cut something up high in a minute, but I just want to see how well it cuts just, you know, uh, just in general. So let's give it a shot here. Not bad. Not too bad. It, uh, it's pretty effortless. It's got this little stop on the bottom there that sort of allows you to put that up against your your branch or whatever you're cutting uh, to sort of hold it still. Did you notice that? You can set that right against there. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. So this is cedar that I'm cutting. I had trimmed some of my cedar trees and I just uh, just have everything piled up back here right now. So 
So yeah, I mean, if you don't feel like getting out a big old chainsaw, this is actually a pretty good alternative. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing works. Well, it works great on smaller branches. Smaller branches are great. The bigger ones takes a little bit to go through, but it does go through. I'm being very mindful that this thing's not going in the ground. You know, I don't want to have it in the dirt and everything. I'm keeping it on the wood. Yeah. Well, it definitely works. So let me uh, let me put the extender on. I'll just do that live <laughs> while I'm here. All right, that unscrews. And again, that takes a little bit of, of uh, you have to pull pretty hard to get that thing apart. I have an idea. Yeah, that acts as a, huh, acts as a hanger. All right, so, oh, got the wrong end. So if you notice on these four little slats here, slots, that's the biggest one. That's gonna line up with that notch right there. Okay, tighten that back up. Now, actually I'm gonna have to take this thing off. Oh, me. All right, once again, largest slot on that notch. Tighten it up. Now, this thing is super long. See the end of it? So that's nine and a half feet. And again, it's pretty heavy. So I recommend using this little shoulder strap just to sort of offset the weight of the thing. So now it's got a really good reach. Not that I can't get this <laughs> you know, without the extender, but let's just see. Yeah. Now, I don't know if I can reach this one up here. No, not quite. I need to be on a ladder. But, I can get some of these small ones down. <laughs> that just hit me in the face. <laughs> nice. Here, I can get this one. Almost. That's a tough one. This is sweet gum right here. That is tough. There we go. Can't quite get the rest of that though. And I'll, uh, I'll grab that in a little bit. Yeah, the thing works pretty well. All right, now I'm gonna to try to take down this big old thing right here. I'm gonna get behind it. So if it falls, it's gonna go that way. But that is an unruly branch. I've always hated that branch. So let's make it go away. Now this is poplar right here. That's a pretty big branch. And away it goes. Right. That's the thing stuck. Try to unstick it. Good 
Gotta be very careful. I don't want to break the bar. Anyway. what? Um, hmm. This thing's gonna fall. I have an idea. Let's take this off. There we go. Fell right in the ground. Didn't hurt it. <laughs> this is a good test. <sighs> that went right in the dirt. It's probably okay. As long as those contacts are fine. So it can still deliver the juice. All right, let's finish this thing up. That was uh, that was not cool. There we go. Yeah, I didn't put the shoulder strap on that time. That thing's heavy. When it's fully extended, holding it with an outstretched arm. But it does work. That's a big heavy branch right there. Yeah. Let's cut something else. All right, this is a stupid branch right here. Let's make this one go bye-bye. Eh, it's gonna get hung up on that right there, but still. Pretty big branch. There we go. So I'd have to say, the thing does work. And it's all plastic, which is typical of Ryobi, but it's pretty good plastic. You know, it's not bad. I've always been impressed with Ryobi tools for the price point and quality. You know, it does, it does a good job. And that was a good size uh, branch there and it went through it fairly quickly. So yeah, I'd have to give this thing an A. So if you're looking for an inexpensive, you know, this was about uh, 140 bucks at Home Depot. I think it was 139.99 after tax. It wound up being about 147, I think it was. So yeah, uh, good deal for a nine and a half foot uh, battery powered uh, pole saw. And these 18 volt lithium ion batteries, they charge quickly and they last a long time. I've, I've had good luck with them on all my, uh, you know, drills, circular saw. They have a good run time. So, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to do. I mean, you've seen people cut branches before. <laughs> you've seen one, you've seen them all. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a little demo of this thing and just show you how well it works. And I have to, have to say it works pretty well. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys next time.